In recognition of the International Day for Older Persons, celebrated annually on October 1st, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs reaffirmed its commitment to the well-being of St. Lucia's senior citizens by hosting a special health and fitness session for residents of various homes for the elderly. The event was organized by the Ministry's Health Education and Communications Unit in collaboration of the Elderly Affairs Unit and it brought together older persons for a day dedicated to promoting physical activity and well-being. Held at the La Clary Plain Fields, the health and fitness session aimed to provide the elderly participants with the opportunity to engage in light exercise routines designed specifically for their age group focusing on mobility, flexibility and balance. Health educator Naomi Grandison provided insight into the fitness initiative, highlighting its specific focus and objectives. We worked in the department, the Ministry of Health, where in my department we worked along with the elderly unit and we conceptualized um, this particular activity as of the beginning of a, a number of, of, of tailored fitness um, exercises to the elderly. So today it was to get um, them together from different organizations um, to come out and be reintroduced because a lot of the times the, the older persons are inside, they get shut in, they don't move and this is, this is the reason why the decline is accelerated, this is the reason why they start to feel quote unquote old so some some of them don't really move and we want to, to plant that seed the acting director of the elderly affairs unit robert huggins emphasized the importance of fostering physical mental and emotional well-being among older persons too many people reach a point in life where they sort of just feel like it's the end of the road and they just sort of sit back um we want to remind people that life doesn't stop once you've retired or you know um at a certain point, you, see, you may take on certain um, disabilities or illness or something that has limited your mobility or limited your, your scope in some way, but it doesn't mean that it stopped you entirely. So we want to remind people that no matter what level of mobility you have, no matter what step, um, age or, or, or um, stage in life that you're at, you still have an avenue to be active, to be fit. Because one thing the Ministry of Health tries to push is, is to stay active, you know, keep moving. That's one of the ways that we combat a lot of this here in the city. Um, chronic non-communicable diseases, I mean we use the full term instead of um, the acronym, and it's one of the ways that we improve our health. Robert Favry, administrator of St. Lucie's Home, noted that ensuring access to health services and fitness programs is an integral part of creating supportive environments where older persons can thrive. As your family and loved ones get older, Sometimes their behavior, their habits change because of age. Some of them are afflicted with health issues, with Alzheimer's. So we must have a lot of patience with them. We must exercise due care with them. We must show compassion. We must show love. Because at one time they took care of us. At one point in our lives they were able. And so they are where they are. Sometimes life has given them a, a, a bad blow or dealt them a bad hand. Sometimes they have so many health challenges. And it's, so it's not a time for us to turn our backs on them. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs remains steadfast in its mission to provide ongoing support and care for the island's older population, recognizing them as a vital part of the St. Lucian community. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.